The Manchester Select Board met Tuesday, December 19th, and got its first in-depth look at the municipal budget they will eventually authorize in early January and submit to the town's voters for approval at March town meeting. Under the preliminary document presented to the Select Board, which may well change between now and January 9th, when the board is scheduled to formally adopt the budget for the coming fiscal year, total expenditures were slated to rise about 10%, from about $5,774,000 to about $6,345,000. But non-tax revenues, such as the local option tax, a 1% surcharge on sales, meals, and lodging, are expected to pay for most of the increase. Those non-tax revenues are pegged to rise by nearly half a million dollars. The proposed budget increase is property tax spending by nearly 119000 or about a 4% increase from the current budget. But with increases to the town's grand list, the annual tax bill on a home valued at $250,000 would see a tax increase of about $4.50. The heads of the major municipal departments, such as the Department of Public Works, Parks and Recreation, Police, Fire, and Planning and Zoning, each appeared to defend or explain the budget requests. The budget also includes some funding for some capital expenditures, such as the Depot Street Improvement Project, which is scheduled to start next spring, and $225,000 for paving North Road. Some new equipment and improvements to the town hall entrance are also part of it. Not all of these items will be paid for strictly from local funds. The town's library, the Manchester Community Library, will be seeking an increase of about $14,000 in municipal funding, to nearly $222,000, which represents less than one-third of the library's total budget. The rest is financed by fees and private donations. This line item is voted on separately from the main budget, along with other requested municipal support for other nonprofit organizations. The board also gave a green light to backers of a petition which aims to encourage the town and the state to address climate change concerns and encourage use of renewable energy sources. And um, I think there are 27 towns now in the state of Vermont who are going to be um, proposing this resolution to their towns. Um, and the um, purpose of it is to try and work from the grassroots level through the towns hopefully to persuade the state to uh, move ahead. They're they're already agreeing to do 90% by 2050. That is part of the uh, commission. But um, they really need to start moving much quicker. Um, The board will meet again on January 2nd for more review of the budget before coming to a final position on January 9th. The the harsh reality is that people's property taxes are going up regardless of what we do. We could slash our budget by 20%, and their property taxes would still go. So, um, you know, we work hard. We work yeah. hard. The department has worked hard. We work hard at, at keeping the budget down. But then, in a, in a single vote in town meeting, people say we don't really care that much about property taxes yeah. at all. Well, right. Basically, so uh, you kind of wonder if you're if you're beating your head against the wall trying to keep spending down because it doesn't seem that that big of a, uh, an issue in town meeting. I still think it's a big issue. I'm still it's you know, I, yeah. personally, as, a, as, the, as the, the chief budgeter for you guys, in the past I've taken into account all these different things, the school tax and the voter appropriations, and at some point I've just had to say, look, I, I can't keep slashing the services that we're providing just because somebody else that's outside of our control. I mean, I know it's a, it's a harsh thing to say. But... For the GNAT TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.